Hello, welcome to Exploring with Larry. Interesting security story for you guys. Last week or so, I was doing security at a, a church event. You know, I was with two other guards. There's like 300 people there. And I told my buddies that I was with, you know, my other two guards, that, hey, tonight should be easy. You know, church events are nice and calm. You know, church people, how bad can it be? Well, it turned out to be a little wild. Like, I'm not talking about wild, like, you know, mildly wild. I'm talking about, like, mama said knock you out kind of wild. Okay, guys, what happened is, you know, we get there, everything's going okay. And then um, about an hour into it, of course, there's an open bar there. So about an hour into it, um, I was told, hey, there's a lady in line, you know, in the bar line, you know, and she's had too much to drink. Go over there and, you know, remove her from the bar and tell her that she can't have any more to drink. A little drunk, you know. So I go over there. And I'm like, ma'am, you know, are you okay? You seem like you've had a few. She told me, yeah, I had two beers so far, and she looked totally wasted, you know. Her eyes were bloodshot red, and she just looked like she was spun out. So I told her, hey, sorry, you're cut off at the bar. You're going to have to go back and, you know, go to your seat and eat some dinner or whatever. So after a couple minutes of arguing with me, kind of, and chit-chatting with other people, she left the line. I thought, hey, that's cool, you know. She did what I asked. And then we're about another hour into it. Then I was told, hey, there's a guy, you know, on the other side of the hall, and He's drunk and he's causing havoc and he needs to be removed. So I make sure I get my other two security guards to back me up. So they're standing roughly behind me and I approach the guy. He's, a, you know, probably about 60 years old, maybe 57, something like that. Rough life. He probably, he looked older than he was, I'm sure. And he was really drunk. Of course, he was the lady that I kicked out of the bar line was his wife. And I, he has a beer in his hand. And I approach him and I said, hey, sir, please put down the beer and come along with me. The church wants you to leave. And he says, you know, he says a few choice words to me, you know, and he starts talking a little crap. And I didn't realize, but. I heard a voice behind him. I didn't see the guy because the guy's a little bit shorter than both of us. Because the guy, the guy that was drunk was like six foot tall and I'm six foot three. And the guy behind him was like five foot three or four or something. So I really didn't see him. But I heard him say, hey, bud, I'm with my family. You need to do what the nice security guard tells you and leave. It's time for you to go. So the guy turns around slightly and starts cussing at the guy. So then the, um, the guy knocks him out. One hit to the chin. Sweet chin music. I didn't see the hit. I just saw the guy slip. And I went to grab him, you know, so he wouldn't fall. The floor was covered in beer and stuff, you know. I think the guy dropped a beer earlier in the day or whatever. So he bounces on the ground and he's knocked out. His head hits the floor. So then I call the police and the paramedics at the same time. The crowd was so wild, I couldn't hear the 911 operator on the other end of the phone. So I hang up and 911 calls me about two minutes later. Maybe sooner than that. It was quick. So I go in the lobby where I can hear him. 
and I told them the address and everything, you know, I tried to remain calm and told them all the information. Do we need a police and ambulance there? And what the situation was. So the police got there at about the same time the guy woke up. And then they, um, and then he started kind of wrestling around with the police. So after a couple minutes, the police pulled him outside. It took like three or four officers, you know, he wasn't fighting, but he was really resisting arrest. And before anyone says anything crazy, it was an older white guy. You know, he's just really drunk and really belligerent and just showing his ass pretty much. So then I guess he goes outside and the medics are trying to look at him like, hey, bud, you OK? You know, checking his eyes, checking his pulse, doing different, you know, little things to check on him. And he starts fighting the um, the medical personnel and then the police, you know, they're right there. So he starts wrestling with the police and the police get him in handcuffs and then they handcuff him to the gurney and all this crap. And he picks up so many extra charges, assault on an officer, this and that, you know, public intoxication, you know, and all kinds of other things. So after, you know, after a few minutes, he gets hauled off. And then one of the church ladies came up to him and said, came up to me actually and said, sir, he assaulted one of my friends. And I'm like, really? You didn't tell us that? You didn't tell the sheriff's that when they were there? She's like, no, I didn't want him to, my friend didn't want to get him in trouble or any further. And I tried to explain to her that, you know, it was assault and battery shouldn't be treated that way. Go ahead and make a report. Call the sheriff's department and just tell them what address you are, what your name is, and you want to file assault charges against the person they just took in from this location. She refused to. And yeah, that was about it. It was just chaotic. All at a church event. Crazy going ons, you know. After that, I was joking around with the other guards like, man, I need to go to church more often. I didn't know it was like this, you know. My memories of church when I was a kid, when I used to go all the time, was quiet, somber, you know. A little organ playing, watching the priest, you know, say his daily prayers and things and, you know lead us in prayer and all that good stuff, you know, the normal church stuff. You know, nothing too interesting ever happened. It's kind of boring, actually, if I remember right. You know. So, yeah, guys, there's my crazy security story. Thought you guys might, you know, be interested. It's kind of funny, kind of sad, actually. Act that way in church? Come on now. Wake up, people. Remember, it's just like anything else. No po-po on the porch porch. You know, everyone was there to have a good time, and there's an idiot there just acting stupid, doing stupid stuff. Play stupid games. And guess what the prize is? A stupid prize. That's right. Well, thank you for watching... <laughs> Larry's crazy security story. Comment, like, subscribe. I know you guys like to do that kind of stuff sometimes. Leave some good comments, guys. I'll always answer them. I'm never too busy to, to talk to my subscribers, leave messages, this and that. Even if you watch an old video of mine and you leave a comment, when, as soon as I get notified, I'll try to give you a comment back, you know. Say hi, thanks for watching, all that good stuff. You know. Thank you very much for watching my video. Have a great day. Bye.